Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. I just thought I'd explain my situation. Basically, in Firefox, if I drag this across, uh, basically I have a bunch of uh, folders here at the top with uh, my bookmarks in. They're all folders. And I want to now be able to add RSS into Firefox. I want to be able to have uh, live bookmarks. If you've heard of the feature live bookmarks, you can basically add, uh, it looks like a folder, but you click on it and it just scrolls down with a bunch of headlines from websites. Uh, because it sort of aggregates, um, it puts them all together into like a folder and then you can see all the headlines from that site, it's really good. So um, that, this will save me downloading an extra RSS reader or whichever. So um, what I want to be able to do is have this RSS folder stuff underneath these um, folders here so um, I don't have to uh, have them all along the same line and have, because um, what happens is if I minimize this a little bit, now you won't see the little double arrow, it's in black, but because it's black you won't see it. You'll notice that if you have too many um, bookmarks along the top or too many folders, you have a double arrow here and you click it and then you can select your stuff you want. Now um, I, will, I think that's a little bit inefficient to be honest. I'd like to be able to have multiple uh, rows, if I can, of bookmarks. Now there is a way to do this, you just have to go to Start, My Computer, uh, your default drive, then you need to go to documents and settings, uh, your default user profile, then application data, now this may be hidden, you may want to type this in in, in your um, address bar so you can get this on, and then you need to go to Mozilla, then Firefox, then profiles, it's a bit of a long winded way to do it, but um, then your default profile, then Chrome. So this should be the, your entire path of how to get to this file that we need to change. So you have a file called userchrome.css. Now I suggest you make a copy of this just um, as a uh, backup in case anything goes wrong. So I'm now going to edit this and on the end of this file I'm just going to make a new line and I'm going to copy this uh, piece of code. I'm going to provide the piece of code in the description so you can copy this for yourself. And it says multi row bookmarks toolbar and then it's got a load of code so we're going to save it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make this slightly smaller because you see um, it's now got all my folders in. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it slightly smaller so it has that little double thing here. So I'll cl click it and it comes up with those. So I'm now going to exit Firefox and I'm going to start it again. And you'll now notice I have multiple rows in my Firefox bookmarks toolbar. So I can now have, you can now have more than two, I think it goes forever I think. but. Um, so if you have lots and lots of bookmarks along the, uh, along your Firefox window and you want to have uh, more than one row, then this is very useful for you. Now, uh, I'll just show you this RSS Live Bookmark thing. Um, there's a website I like called hotukdeals.com and basically this website has uh, people uh, in the UK, they vote for uh, deals that other people in the UK post and the hottest ones are... Uh, they, they go by degrees and the hottest ones get pasted on the, on the front page. So basically a great way to save money if you're looking for something, you just come onto this site and then you see what the cheapest deal is. And obviously you can search by category at the top. So, oops, um, oops. And yeah, you can just choose through the topics and it's a forum so people can just vote. And so the hottest deal at the moment is 75% off sale at Oli Items, nice. So anyway, um, you'll notice at the top in my address bar it has my little RSS icon. It says subscribe to this page. So I'm just going to click it and it says add live bookmark, hot UK deals. Now I'm going to rename that to deals so I can fit more. And then I'm going to say bookmarks toolbar folder, okay. And now it says deals there. But um, one thing to be aware of with this, uh, with this, well, it's more of a tweak more than anything, is that sometimes if you go to resize it, um, it will actually keep itself at this one, uh, one level. I'm not sure if I can get it to show you. It's actually working okay at the moment. But if it does, uh, oh no, here we go. And as you can see, the uh, it's all in one bit here, and it's got the double arrows again. So if it does do that, because uh, now it's like completely stopped working, so. If it does do that, all you need to do is just go, I'm going to um, cut it off here, and um, it's got double arrows and it says deals, so I'm just going to close Firefox and open it again. I mean, the best thing to do is keep Firefox at the same window size, or keep it maximised or something like that, because then you don't have to worry about if you resize it. So, 
Um, it's now done exactly what I want. I've got all the uh, folders up the top with all my bookmarks in, and I've got all that. I'm going to have a bunch of RSS feeds underneath it. So uh, that's about it, really. Um, you just need to add this code, which I'll provide in the description, to the user Chrome CSS file in your Mozilla directory, and it should work fine. So thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.